Welcome to the new Busy Central launch edition, Busy Central 2025 release wave two. Today we will talk about new clearance model in e-documents. My name is Alexander Totovic and I am product manager uh, responsible for this functionality and I have my colleague with me today. Yeah. I'm Wendy. So let's switch to this functionality. Um, first, let's explain business values about clearance model in uh, e-documents. Clearance model was something we missed when we delivered this functionality. This is a new framework and we had some time to stabilize, to create, and now we are trying to complete all missing parts to work properly. So first reason is regulatory compliance by design. In a situation, and many countries require that, when you need to have pre-approved by tax authorities or some other third-party partners your invoice, it will be enabled by default into this system. So further, it will streamline accurate your invoicing, so it will uh, uh, reduce your manual effort for lots. And third part, this is now ready for global localizations. What does it mean? Uh, this is now in a framework, very similar as we had for other e-document features. This is framework. This is not by default localized. So on the top of that, we will start to build localizations, such as very factor in Spain, CFDI in Mexico, India invoicing, and so on, so on. So traditionally, before this wave, we supported multi-corner model. What does it mean? In general, this is four-corner model, but in some rare situation, it can be used for five-corner models as well, so there is no any differences how you can set up. So it can be supported three corners, four corners, five corners models. But clearance model is different. It requires different architecture. So process is on a, on a uh, process, uh, foundational process, this is a different. So we have said the receiver and we have government or some other authorities, uh, the place where you will validate your invoices. So how it's going? First, you need to send your invoice to government or some other authorities, depends, tax authorities, for clearance. So the, what does it mean? They will check if everything is correct related to regulation, local regulation. In moment when everything is okay, they will send uh, you back information and it can be some QR code, it can be some GUID, whatever. It depends from localization to localization. And now you will have this embedded clearing into invoice. When you have this embedded into your invoice, you can send to receiver. You can send directly via email or eventually you can use some of existing connectors and to send via sender access point. So this is on you how you will send. And very often it depends from country to country uh, what is required. But you have all these options on a desk. But again, let's focus. This is mainly what clearance model means. You need to send to government your invoice to clear and you get it back embedded clearing model to send to your receiver any model you want. One more feature exists or will exist in this model. Currently, this is not supported. This is something what we will deliver in the future to fully support clearance model is validation as a receiver. Currently, yes, you will get uh, documents. Everything is OK. But if you want to validate against this government office, this is something what should be delivered on the top of this framework as well. And one more thing I mentioned, you can be connected with the government or through third party services. So it supports sender access point, receiver access point as well. So both models are supported. This is only how you will set up your service, what you will choose as a access point and point actually. So what do you need to do? How to set up? Actually, you need to do two things to set up your e-document services and workflow. But you can see three types here. So first, e-document first e-document service for clearance, and then second, e-document service for sending to your customers. And on the end, you need to set a workflow to orchestrate all these previous two uh, setups. So when you create workflow, you have a template you can use workflow use uh, template to create, and then you will see how you can orchestrate communication with those services. You can uh, set up uh, which will be first service, second service. So Benji will show you in, a, in a, his demo. So Benji will now show full end-to-end -end scenario, how you can send uh, for clearance, how you can provide further to a customer, and also what is in the setup. Benji. Yeah, thanks, Asenda. I will take over. So first, let's navigate to the e-document service page 
Here you can find uh, two services are defined. The first one is the clearance service, and another one is a provider service. For the clearance service, as Alexander mentioned earlier, uh, for different countries it could be various. So uh, if you have some special requirements, you can always implement a new PTE by yourself. Then let's go to the key point of this framework, workflow. Uh, yeah, here for this workflow, uh, you can find there are five steps uh, defined here. The first, when the e-document is created, uh, this workflow will be triggered and then it will export document uh, using the setup of clearance uh, service. Then it will be uh, sent to the clearance service. Once it's successfully sent, it will be exported uh, using the setup of provider service. Uh, then again, if it's uh, exported successfully, it will be sent to the provider service. Finally, uh, if you need, you can also choose to send it to the uh, customer uh, through the email. So in this way, you can see it's uh, a workflow-based framework to ensure the flexibility. Then uh, I will show you how to use it in Bin Center here. Uh, Let's navigate to the sales invoice. Yeah, let's choose a random uh, sales invoice and then post it. Okay, now it's successfully posted. Then let's open the corresponding e-document page. Here you can see uh, in this e-document page, uh, there are two services. One is the clearance service and another one is the provider service. And the status of the clearance service now is pending response. It means when the sales invoice is posted, the workflow is triggered and then being sent a send a, send a request to the clearance service. Uh, now it's waiting for the response from the clearance service. Uh, in the real world, it could take se uh, several hours to get a response from clearance service but uh, for this MOOC, it only takes a second. So let's reopen this page. I think we already get the response. Uh, yeah, here we go. We already get the response from the clearance service. Then the status is changed uh, to the cleared. And uh, then the uh, for the provider service, it's also sent. Yeah, then let's get, go back to the process invoice. Because for some, uh, for some clearance service, it will return a QR code. So in the posted sales, uh, in the posted sales invoice, we support you to uh, view QR code. Finally, the uh, customer will receive an email with an attachment. Yeah, here in the attachment, you can see the QR code is also included in the email. That's all. Thanks. Thank you, Inji. Yeah. So, you could see how it works. I just wanted to uh, mention this clearance service we have in the background. This is not something that exists in a busy central. So, you need to, uh, if you are localized, if you are building your localization, you need to build this by yourself because it depends from localization to localization. This is just an example. We created this service in the background to show you how it works in a practice. What is important for next steps? localizations. This is, as I said, this is just a framework. I, our base idea was to support the most global requirements. Um, probably, maybe, or probably we will uh, continue to improve this model if something new appears. But again, keep in mind, this is a framework. So this is in, in this moment, this is not localized. So to unlock other localization, this framework was necessary. And now we will continue to build localization on top of this e-document framework with the clearance model. Missing uh, countries from Microsoft localizations, actually not missing countries, we already have uh, electronic invoicing based on uh, old model in India and Mexico, but now we will start planning how to migrate Indian and Mexican invoicing to new e-documents format and Verifact 2 in Spain 
as well. So this is something what we will do as a Microsoft. Now we will bring step-by-step uh, step, uh, our localization on the top of uh, eDocuments framework with a clearance model. And this is something now what is ready for uh, partner-based localization. So there is a dozen uh, countries all around the world, especially, especially in a, a many countries, I think in the Latin countries, almost all models are uh, pre-clearance model. So many countries require this model. This is something what will be really important for uh, starting using e-documents as a framework globally. Okay, uh, before I close this session, I would like to emphasize, please look into these URLs. You can find many interesting general resources for Business Central. I will also encourage you to subscribe on LinkedIn, um, uh, on our Microsoft LinkedIn. So. You can uh, follow our weekly news, all announcements on one place, so easily to track. And watch more videos on YouTube, aka MSBC YouTube. You can find this video as well, but there only with e-documents. We will have three or four additional videos with e-documents and some other topics, not only for this edition, but for previous editions as well. So thank you for watching this session. Thank you.